Meteorologist Brian Nisnanski joining us now with the first check of our Storm Team forecast. Yeah, we just slipped into this uh, winter-like pattern, and we're here to stay uh, for the week here. This is a live look in Port Washington, where we just got done with a heavy burst of lake effect snow. This doesn't last very long, but if you get under one of these snow showers, it will come down pretty good, and you'll get a half inch of snow, maybe even a little bit more in spots. This is a live look in Port Washington, where you can see the roadways now uh, still a little bit snow covered. And as we look at the Storm 4 Max radar, you can see again lake effect snow actually starting to increase a little bit in coverage here. You got scattered late light lake effect snow from Milwaukee, Racine, and Kenosha. That little heavier band, though, again tracking to the north of Milwaukee. Light snow here right along the lake shore. Again, I would say on average about a half inch of snow, but we certainly could get some locally higher amounts if you get under one of those heavier snow showers this afternoon. Okay, taking a look at the temperatures. This is the other half of the story. Cold temperatures 10 now in Watertown, but that is a huge improvement from earlier this morning. You were at 14 below zero in Watertown, 18 degrees in Port Washington. Day planner through the remainder of the day, scattered lake effects snow showers. Again, you get under one of those, it would be a little bit slippery on the roadways by 9 o'clock, 18 degrees. And then we're going to look for another round of snow set to arrive tomorrow. And we have a winter storm watch that's uh, posted for our northern counties north of Milwaukee. This is where we're expecting the most snow heading into tomorrow. And we're going to break down the snowfall amounts, timing, everything coming up here in just a few minutes, Vince.